Welcome to the first video edition of Living in the Gift with Sky Dreamer. I've been having a little bit of a resistance to starting this video series off, this web series that I'm interested in creating and giving back and using as a platform to share some stories and hopefully some inspiring um, experiences that I have that I'm able to pass on to other people in related to what it is that I'm learning about living in the gift. My resistance to starting was that I had no idea where I was going to start so I figured that gratitude is always a beautiful place to start and a space that really gets me into the heart and gets me into the flow of being able to communicate what it is that I want to communicate to everybody out there. So my gratitude that I would like to express is to all of the people who have supported me in this last now just over a year of traveling after leaving the home that I was in after the landlord sold it and we disbanded the home at Eden's Cove and moved into my camper named Magic which I'm in right now and so grateful to be able to um, film this video for you and to do everything that it is that I do because of the people like you that have supported me along the way whether that was financially or otherwise uh, a Facebook social media share, a kind word when I needed it, a hug, um, a story that you might not have realized really had an impact on me and yet it did. Whatever way it is that you supported me, I'm so truly thankful and grateful for all of your generosity along the way because every day I'm made more aware that I would not be where I am today if it wasn't for the people who have supported me. And along this journey I've been really exploring my relationship with money and what I'm calling living in the gift and so what I've come to define that as for myself because living in the gift is very much an individual expression it's about what you need now in this present moment it's a reflection of your total state of being and so it doesn't necessarily mean that you do everything as a gift that is certainly the path that I am choosing and that every time I take one more step in that direction it there's the invitation it continually opens up for me it's I almost as if I have to go down this path because every time I have the faith in myself and my community to take that step into the unknown I'm given that next step forward and I'm caught as I'm falling and so I'm doing something totally new I'm doing something totally different I'm learning from other people all the time everybody has something to teach me whether they themselves are on their own journey of living in the gift or not whatever it is and having the courage to be able to talk to people about this to talk to people about how they feel when they give me money or when I ask for money or what my relationship with is with money is and how we use it has been an extremely profound journey for me and this video series is my gift back my um, way of sharing what I've learned along the path the reason that I'm starting now um, is my next step into living from the gift which for me means that I do not charge for what I do I offer it as a gift and I learn how to offer those gifts to people who are open to receive and learn to recognize when I'm giving when I'm not open to give or when other people are not open to receive because what's important for me is that giving feels good it feels good to everybody involved and so if I am ever asking for support in some way and you don't feel in a place to give I don't want you to give please don't because I know when I give when I'm not in this space I resent the other person I resent myself I have all of these emotional and thought loops come up that are simply just because I didn't have enough respect for myself and the other person to set a boundary when I felt like one was necessary and sometimes that boundary is to say no to say no I'm sorry I'm not in a place to give to you right now or maybe through that no you can find a more creative outlet in which you can give something so if it's not what I need or if it's not what you need you might be able to help me connect with somebody who does have the gift to fill that need so my next step into living in the gift Last Friday was the last um, of the float tub money that has been coming in. It's the um, 
business uh, venture that I had at Eden's Cove that has been um, supporting me for this last year as I travel with bi-weekly uh, passive income and now I have no idea where my money's coming from which is really exciting it's really scary I have so much coming up around it I have no idea um, what's going to unfold into the future for me which is my next step into living from the gift and I'm realizing is a step into humility it's a step into trust it's a step into having faith and these are all for myself and the people that I know that my community the people around me whether online or offline so with this next step into living from the gift I'm asking for your support I'm asking for your support financially I'm asking for your support um, in whatever way you're able to give uh, right now my main focus is on that financial aspect because I've been so fortunate to be in a place where the last few years I've been able to give without um, expectation because I've had my basic needs met uh, very basically it's just called uh, universal living allowance the ideas being explored in Canada and also in other countries where everybody is given enough to support their basic needs uh, room and board food clothing water all of the basic necessities that we need and then work beyond that is up to the individual so I feel like it creates a space for people to discover what their gifts are discover what their creative passions are and what way feels best to them in giving those back and that's what I want to do for people I want to create those support networks I've been calling it the circle of gratitude for a while it's where we start to use money in a way that reflects gratitude for people rather than an upfront payment my money has been increasingly coming from the people that I know and going to the people that I know out of gratitude and I call that monitude it's a monetary expression of gratitude it's not a payment for a service it's a small token uh, an expression of gratitude in gifting cultures it might be expressed as a bead or a necklace or something that is passed on that says thank you you gave to me when I was in need and I will give to you when your time is in need as well that is the solidarity that I'm looking for those are the relationships that I'm looking for I want to be involved with people and I want to be around people who are interested in creating those bonds creating those relationships with others that solidarity I'm not after charity I'm not after you to pay for a vacation because that's not what it is I'm after solidarity I'm after the, the relationships where I will help you and you help me and that is our insurance policy that is our community that is our support network that we're creating in the circle of gratitude I've languaged it as trees and roots so each person individual is a tree that has many roots feeding many roots out of gratitude and maybe that relationship involves a direct exchange maybe it just involves hey here's some money and you know go do what you're doing I trust that you're doing exactly what you need to and giving when you can and how you can after talking to many people I see that that direct exchange is really important for people I'm giving what am I getting and that's okay I'm more than willing to honor where people are at and so I've created a monthly membership where depending on your choice level of involvement there's three different levels I've languaged them I've called them the um, super best friend the solidarity supporter and the co-creative Jedi master and each level has different uh, we could call them perks or returns for you as an individual if you're interested in supporting me financially the amounts I've put on are totally open um, I've learned that people still appreciate having the monetary amount uh, so that is there but I really want to stress that by no means is there any sort of paywall between my gifts and your needs so if I'm giving and you need to receive and money is not something that you have I really hope that you um, do not let that stop you from asking me for help because that's what I'm here to do I'm here to be of service I'm here to offer philanthropy and so far that philanthropy has been without money it's been through story 
It's been through solidarity and support, spreading your message, spreading your dream. And I want to continue doing that. I don't want to let money be something that stops me from what I'm doing, It that stops me, prevents me from giving in whatever way that I want to. And so I have been giving regardless. I've been giving little bits of money and it's been a wonderful practice. I really enjoy giving money out of gratitude. It feels so much better. I enjoy receiving money out of gratitude. That is what really feels most honoring and integrous to my expression at this time. Because I'm most conscious of where my money goes when it's coming to me from people that I know out of gratitude. That is when my awareness is on where I'm spending and my interest comes from not wanting to spend more than I need. Really asking myself, is this something that I need? And what am I saying yes to with this purchase? What are you voting for on your dollar? I want to turn money into a force that connects us, not a force that divides us and separates us from each other. Not a force that goes against our better interests, that goes against our desires to do good for the world and to give back and to create the more beautiful world that we know to be possible. That I know to be possible and that you know to be possible. Instead, money is going to be a creative force and we're going to let it go and it's going to ripple out into the world and create so much amazing, amazing beauty so that people who want to go and clean up that toxic waste dump or people that want to go and pick up garbage or help the homeless or whatever it is are able to do that and less so much the person who wants to go chop down the forest more the person that wants to you know protect their local wetland these are the new jobs we're creating and as we support each other each other it's you and me supporting each other then more people will be free to do that. Everywhere I go, I can't help but hear so many times people have amazing projects, amazing, beautiful dreams that they want to create. And it's, oh, but I've got this full-time job that I have that I'm not really very happy at. But I see them light up when they talk about this Hugo culture or this labyrinth or whatever it is that they want to create. And so my service is to help you with those and to help support you in those because I believe in a world where every individual is not only free because we are all free but supported but supported in the creation of our dreams and that's what I want to offer you that's what I want to offer communities as I travel and the best way that I know how to do that is when I'm free to make my choices to make my decisions to choose where to be and not have it out of force, not have it out of an expectation, not have it out of preset conditions. I'm here to help you regardless. I'm here to give my gifts regardless. I'm here to create my dreams regardless. I'd love it if you were to help me along with that so that I can help you. And if you don't, that's okay too because there's lots of people here and I'm looking for people who are interested in this and who are really ready to take a step into the unknown with me and to start co-creating this new story, this new story of being, and to get rid of the strange associations we have to people just sitting on their butts all day doing nothing because that's not what I've seen. That's not what I've seen. Being supported with living might start off looking selfishly but it always comes back here and this is where I am and this is where I'd like to remain and I need your help to do that so if you're interested in getting involved check out the links below and stay tuned for more living in the gift videos as we dive deeper into what this means and how we can each find our own unique expression of that whether we know what our gifts are or not because that's part of the journey too I'm still finding out what those are and finding out the best way that I can give those back to people so thank you for watching and thank you so much for your support